uh, Bernard Carter, CTO at No Micro, and today in what's in the lab I have the Serpent Canyon Nook. Um, this is pretty neat because it actually has the uh, Intel Arc graphics in it. I'm just going to open it up and kind of show you what's inside. We, you know, pull it off. It's got the skull logo. You can actually replace this piece of plastic here uh, to show something else custom. And we're going to take out this plate here. And inside, I think the most interesting thing to me is this actually does support three M.2 drives. We see uh, NVMe SATA here, NVMe, and NVMe. So we got some you know, good drive selections you could put in here, fill it with some storage, um, run some interesting things from that standpoint. Um, two sodium slots, pre-populated uh, memory card, and then we can see the bottom side of where the CPU and GPU are. Um, overall, pretty simple from the standpoint of disassembling, putting stuff in, right? Um, if we look at the top here, or the, the back rather, from an I.O. standpoint, we have our uh, uh, power input, some display port, HDMI, um, audio, including optical, Thunderbolt, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, and then some USB ports. And on the front, we're looking at some USB ports, um, audio, uh, Thunderbolt, power button, or not power button, just an activity button, uh, SD card slot, and then a uh, pretty normal power button here. So, you know, relatively uh, complex, but uh, nice I.O. options here. In the box itself, um, there's a few accessories. So I'll pull this over here. Um, we can see, you know, power cable. Um, it comes with a stand. Uh, not much to see here, just holds the unit up vertically, basically. And then a uh, interestingly large power supply. Um, if we take a look at this, this is actually a pretty substantial power supply. It's actually 330 watts. So um, a lot of power going to this unit here. Um, We'll be doing some uh, video and performance testing uh, shortly along with probably try to run some uh, stable diffusion and some other stuff that I've been running topically in the channel lately. So, uh, but just a quick run through of what's inside the box, uh, you know, what it looks like inside and the IO options. Thanks.